Edmonton Oilers a different team with Ekholm. Just ask the Leafs Edmonton Oilers continue to gain momentum. Turning Winnipeg Jets into road carnage photo. Perry Nelson, USA Sports Today article content rumors were fun. Discussions were lively. And moves will have a significant impact. But with Friday's trade line and three Pacific Division rivals ahead of them, the Edmonton Oilers have shifted their focus to what really matters. This content is reserved to subscribers only now to read the latest news in your city and Canada. New York Times Daily Puzzles including crossword register to unlock more articles create an account or log in to continue your reading experience. Access articles from across Canada with a single account share your thoughts and join the conversation in the comments enjoy additional articles every month get email updates from your favorite authors don't have an account create account or view more offers try refreshing your browser or edmonton oilers will continue to gain momentum and turn winnipeg jets into a road carnage back to video despite all optimism and high expectations swirling around team lately they were still stuck in a wild spot after winning just 12 out of 22 points in previous 11 games. Please try again article content it was time to step on the gas. Unfortunately for poor Winnipeg Jets. They were on wrong side of headlights at Rogers Place Friday night and wound up as a speck on road. When it was all over. Article content turning Jets into road carnage. Edmonton took 6-1 lead with two goals each from Kyler Yamamoto, Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Leon Dreisaitl on the way to a 6-3 decision in first game of home game. The on and home series on Saturday night. Our effort was great, the run rate was where it needed be, and our ability to shoot as many penalties as we could is a credit the way we glide, said head. Coach Jay Woodcroft. We made a big difference and found a way to take the win. Article content goalkeeper Stewart. Skinner was out of the game for 47 minutes before finally having to remove a puck from his own net. With Boston Bruins on brink of a 3-2 defeat to Toronto, 5-2 and Winnipeg 6-3 in their last three games. Oilers seem to be stepping in at exactly right time. The game against Boston was really good for us, said Nugent Hopkins. We didn't get the two points but I think we took some positive lessons there as well and carried that into the game against Toronto. We have to keep getting better and better. Edmonton emerges from thrilling win over Leafs. While Jets are midst of a rattle with win their last eight games, had Calgary Flames not been worse. Shape. Jets would have been danger of missing out on postseason altogether. Article content Jets coach Rick Bonus said, We weren't very good with the details in the matches and we weren't moving our feet at all. When. You're tired. If you don't pay attention to details and don't compete hard enough. You'll end up looking bad. We've made them look a lot better than they are. They're a good team. No doubt about it. I mean we've made their game very easy to play. Edmonton controlled the first period and put Winnipeg on their heels with a Dreisaitl power play goal in 206. Only pulling four minors in the first period and their Jets 6. Nugent Hopkins, who had just come out of third quarter battle with Toronto and provided the first period assist for Dreisaitl's goal, continued his career with his 29th and 30th goals of season, as well as two assists. The article content said, I want to be involved every night that I can be positively. No matter what this role looks like. I'm trying to make a positive difference. No one really thought would be an executor and scorer. But he proved once again that can score them and has already set his career best for goals. With 19 games left in the season. After last year I wanted to stand in front of the net for a bit and the guys find me with some. Great passes, he said. I know I have to go a little bit offensively and help production and still try to play this two-way game. I think that shows how we're progressing as a team right now. The individual things come from the team playing well. The Oilers need a prolific starting six. 
Right-wingers and scoring four goals in their last five games is a good start. Article content photo. Perry Nelson, USA Today Sports, this year has been a bit of a bumpy ride for me. Playing. Getting injured. Playing getting injured, he said. I couldn't get into a lot of rhythm but I have the last two games. I should have been five quarters in the second period but I'm happy to get two. Whenever you're playing with Leo and Nuge and they're both going, it's pretty easy to get yourself going too. Dreisaitl became the eighth player in NHL history to record a consecutive season with 24 strong game goals. But his crowning achievement overnight was a pointless goal that made him 6-1. While driving net, he tripped and took penalty, knocked post off anchors, put it back on, got a pass from McDavid, and threw puck into space about size of cell phone. This shot was crazy, Yamamoto said. I watched the replay and I was like, oh my god, not many players can shoot from that range. The Jets brought things closer with a late rally, scoring goals at 11.49 and 12.55, but the damage had already been done. McDavid, who on Wednesday became the third player to score more than one goal in five consecutive games in the last 100 years, saw his historic run end with three assists on Friday. His last six games, 4-4-2 three points and points. What we saw is very special, Woodcroft said. What I like to see is his competitive drive to lead our team. That's really impressive to me. Matthias Ekholm got off to a good start in his two games with Edmonton, plus five in a matchup with even Bouchard. I think Ek gives confidence to people on the ice, Woodcroft said. And I think it would help everyone if a younger partner could review and see someone with their level of experience and poise. Email. Artichkowski on Twitter. Rob underscore Tichkowski.